We are recording and we will be opening everybody else's permission to record. Uh, we have with us now Austin FC midfielder Diego Fagundes. And our first question will come from Chris Bills with the Striker Texas. Uh, Chris, when you're ready. Thanks. Well, Diego, um, you know, I know you've, you've talked a lot to the fans. You've heard what was coming. You've been at the, at the practices, but what was it like out there? What was it like to, to come out uh, to hear the Verde Listos and then, you know, to be in front of, uh, in front of the home supporters for the first time? To be honest, it was amazing. Um, I remember when I stepped out um, right before the game started, uh, I got the chills. Um, it was something special. I know they've been working so hard for it. Um, I know the whole team was ready for it um, and, it's, it's kind of sad that we're leaving as a tie because we pushed so hard. They were singing so hard, and uh, we wanted to give them more. Um, but this it's like we said, this is just the beginning. We're going to make this a fortress. We're going to make this a place that no one wants to play here. Um, and the hardest part was listening to our own teammates giving us commands because it was so loud in there, and that's what we want. We, we appreciate everything they've, they've done. Great. Let's go next to Kirk Bowles. <laughs> Kirk, if you're ready. Yeah, Diego, I was curious how the atmosphere here compares to uh, the other places in the league as far as noise, energy, uh, the, the electricity in the stadium. To be honest, I'm going to tell you right now, I think we have the best fan base all around the league. Um, the atmosphere was there. The, how loud it was was there. Everything about it was there. I know they want to compete against everybody else. I, I think they've done a good job about it, and I think everybody's going to see it. We want to bring Austin to the to the world, and I think that's what they're doing. Um, we're all going to be doing it together. I said it today. We're all growing as a family. Um, I consider this team family. I consider the fans family, and this is this is the beginning for us. And Diego, as far as the the offense right now, is this team? You had a bunch of opportunities, but it. Is it almost like you're all ready to explode because you're so close? It's crazy. Um, I think you see it how how much we've been giving. Um, we've had so many chances, and and now we just have to get lucky. To be honest, it's just that little bit. It's the last ball that someone needs to make a move, make a touch, uh, give it to someone else to score. Uh, we're there. Um, we just have to be a little better. And like I said, we're disappointed about this this tie. Um, usually you'd be happy on ties, but when you're playing at home in front of this fan, these fans. It's it's not it's not um it's not a happy moment. Thanks. Go to Mark Turner, followed by Mike Craven. Go ahead, Mark. Eddie, you go. Well, uh, well played this evening. So you had a really good game. Um, kind of going off of Chris's crack question in regards to what to expect this evening. I saw you guys had your kids out there and your family and everything. Um, that was really nice to see. How important was that for you to be able to share that with your family? What did that mean to you this evening? It's huge. Um, yeah, I've been I've been we were all been trying to. To step on the field in front of everyone, we I know the fans have been trying to uh, do everything. They've been working hard um, for us, and I think we saw it out there. There's not one minute, one second in the game where they stopped singing. They were going and going. They were pushing the tempo. They're, we were trying to do the same thing for them, um, and that's amazing. I think it was important for me. I know myself. The first thing I said is, I want to walk out with my kids. I don't care what it takes, and I don't, and I'm going to do it. Um, and then the club was able to do that for us. I think it's something special that we want to, we want to grow. Um, and like I said, it's something that we wanted to do. And I think every player who took their kid out there um, made it a special today. And like I said, it was, it's sad that we didn't get our result, but um, we still have Sunday uh, to come back here and, and, make, and do, make that happen. <laughs> Great. Next, we'll go to Mike Craven. Uh, Diego, Josh uh, referenced kind of changing formations there during the game. What, what's been different with your role? Uh, so far this year, and then what makes San Jose uh, kind of a unique opponent to go against? Oh, my role, I don't even know where I play. I play wherever they tell me. I, I just I just say whatever they say to me, I just go and do. Um, it, like I tell everybody, I play with my heart. I play with my soul. I give everything I have up on the field. Um, it doesn't matter where you put me. I'm going to do everything I can to work hard for the team, um, try to attack, try to defend, whatever it takes until I can anymore. And I think today you saw it. I couldn't do it anymore. I raised my hand. And I said, "Hey, I put my shift out there. Um, I had no more in my tank, and um, and I'm I'm happy with that. Um, do I want to play every minute, every second of every game? Of course, but there you have to be, you have to be smart and know when the limit is, is enough. Um, at the end of the day, it's I need I need to get that fuel more and more so then I can be finishing these games and try to give as much as I can to this team. I think we can go back to Chris Bills for one more. 
unless Chris, I'll, yeah i'll take one yeah sure uh yeah diego um you know just what was the message for message from josh tonight i would think we've seen a couple of his his speeches and i imagine he delivered one tonight what was the message from from him that he left and just what was the energy among the group uh, as you guys came to the stadium and and you know got on the pitch tonight I think that he, the first thing he said is make sure everybody has energy. These fa these fans are going to be giving that energy to us. They're going to be putting that tempo and we just have to do everything we can to give it back to them. Um, I think you saw it out there. We, we were, we were trying so hard and we've been trying to score goals. We're trying to defend where everybody is working so hard. And that's what we like to see. It's, it's tough to leave this, this place with, uh, without a result. Um, well, not, not without a result, but with a result, but not, not the one that we wanted. We always, we want to win at home and we want to make it hard for every team to play here. Um, and it's, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a sad one to, to leave with it. Um, but at the end of the day, he knows we all gave it our best. Everybody gave her everything they had. And that's, that's important. <laughs> Sorry, let's uh, go once more to Mark Turner. If you're there, Mark. No. No. Mark's passing, so I think I think that'll do it. Um, I want to thank Diego for his time, uh, especially after that match. And uh, everyone should just keep the line open. Um, and John Gallagher will follow in just a minute or two. Thank you, Diego. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hello. Hi, John. Uh, hey, sorry, I got a, lost. <laughs> that's okay. We got a bunch of media here on the line, and we also have now Austin FC midfielder John Gallagher. And uh, we have a few people queued up to ask questions. So let's uh, start with Mike Craven from the Statesman. Hey, John. Uh, what were your expectations when you walked into this stadium today, and how would you describe this atmosphere, maybe compared to some things you've seen in your career? Um, I mean, it's been, it's been such a long road to finally get to this moment that when you were walking out of the tunnel and you hear the, the fireworks go off and the crowd erupt, it's just kind of surreal. It's hard to like take in and be present in the moment. So I was just trying to do that. I told myself in the car right up there, just like soak it in and enjoy it. And then as soon as that final whistle blows, then obviously have to shift focus and realize that we got a game on our hands. But I mean, it was, uh, it was amazing. Uh, the fans... They brought energy um, on a hot night where it was tough to run at times. They really picked us up. Um, thankfully, I've played at some really, really, you know, unique stadiums around Europe that have 50, 60,000 people in them. But this was, uh, I mean, this, this, this was pretty noisy as well. So really, I know the guys really enjoyed it. Okay, uh, our next two will be from Chris Bills, followed by Kirk Bowles. As well, John... Um, you've had so many chances and tonight it seemed like you, you know, were, you know, one of the best attackers on the pitch at, at times, but what's the mindset for you and what's the message to you, um, you know, from the coaching staff about making a little bit more of those chances, you know, having that ruthlessness that you guys are looking for. 
Yeah, I mean, just trying to find that killer instinct that I had last year. I think that at times I find myself maybe looking for the final pass, whereas maybe it should have been a bit more greedy and taking the shot on myself. So um, obviously something I'll evaluate. But um, I know that when the first goal goes in next time, I think the floodgates would open. I felt that way about uh, my first goal at Sporting and then I thought I was going to hit my stride and unfortunately got a little calf injury that week in training. So I'm just trying to get myself back up to speed after that and get my body right and um, obviously more game time, more confidence. So. And you said the fans picked you up a little bit. What does that feel like for you when you're feeling, you know, the energy from the crowd, the supporters? Do you hear it when you're on the pitch or, you know, oh, how, do you, how do you take that? Absolutely. I mean, they were, it was electric tonight. It was amazing from every chance, every little pass, every good moment you, you could feel them. And as I said, it was really, really hot out there. And a lot of guys were struggling at cramp with cramp. And at those times, that's when they really pick you up. I mean, most of, most of the game, they were, they were banging the drum, they were singing. And I'm like, I, I don't know how these guys are still going. They must be just as tired as myself. Great. Next question goes to Kirk Bowles. Yeah, John, I saw a guy in a uh, green wig uh, and Elvis Presley uh, sunglasses. Uh, what was the craziest thing you saw tonight? <laughs> I mean, I think I just said it there. The, the fact that they were able to sustain that energy throughout the yeah. whole night. I know our, our supporter section. Um, yeah, I mean, a few of them were probably cramping up too with <laughs> the amount of jumping <laughs> up and down they were doing. And you had, you know, it seemed like a really great first half. Your, your energy was so darn high. And you had some great corner kicks. Uh, where do you feel like you need to improve on the corner kicks as a team? Because you all had some great chances there tonight. Yeah, I think a lot of it is just down to delivery. Um, you know, trying to get the ball into a good area to give the attackers a chance to, um, to score. Thanks. Great. Uh, next two will come from Mark Turner followed by Eric Goodman. Hey, John. Hi. Um, <laughs> I thought tonight was argu arguably uh, your best performance of the season. Thank you. What, what was that, John? What happened this evening? I mean, you really were going hell for leather all night. As I said, it was just kind of the last few weeks trying to get my body back. I just hadn't been feeling 100% with the calf injury and... Um, the last few weeks, getting a bit more game time last, last week at uh, Sporting definitely helped. So I had a good week's training. Um, I felt like my body was was back to normal. And when it's back to normal, I mean, I'm able to go to go hard on, on those runs and, and, and be direct and play my game. And to be honest, this is the first first game since that that Sporting game that I felt back to myself. So um, obviously a bit of confidence um, in that and uh, hopefully I continue. I know we have a lot of games coming up, so um, you know, one result, and then maybe we can go on a run. That was more entertaining, nil nil, than England's nil nil. <laughs> yeah, England were very poor. <laughs> okay, uh, next up is Eric Goodman. Yeah, John, you just mentioned the quick turnaround. Um, such an emotional night tonight. Um, can it, you know, must have been such a relief to finally play at home. Now, I mean, how annoying, I guess, annoying or how challenging is it that you guys have to go midweek back up to Minnesota and get back on the road? Honestly, it's great. Um, I know it was like a bittersweet night. Obviously, everyone was pretty happy that we got to play in front of the crowd. But at the same time, you know, it's frustrating that we didn't get the result. Felt like the chances were there and, and we could have gotten the three points. So that's the beauty of, of, of this game is that it's a quick turnaround. And we can we can write that, um, you know, on Wednesday, we get another chance um, to go a place where we did get a result a few weeks back. Great. I think that uh, concludes our post-game media availability. I want to thank John Gallagher for his time.